Hi, I'm Dave Pilkey, the creator of Captain Underpants. I just wanted to take 2 minutes and 44 seconds to tell you all about my newest book, Captain Underpants and the Revolting Revenge of the Radioactive Roboboxers. My wife and I have a home in Japan, and one day I was sitting around in my studio just drawing and trying to come up with some ideas, and, oh, that's my pet beetle down there. His name is Megalon, and he likes to hang out on my arm when I draw. Anyways, Megalon and I were just sitting there drawing away when suddenly I got inspired. The idea was right in front of me. You see, I hardly speak any Japanese, and where we live, nobody speaks English. So if I'm all by myself, it can be very difficult to communicate with the townspeople because we don't really understand each other's languages. The interesting thing, however, is that my wife and I have become very good friends with a couple of little girls who live nearby. These little girls only speak Japanese, but for some reason we figured out how to communicate without using words. And there are tons of different ways to do that. There's food and culture and balloons and bubbles and kayataben. There's all kinds of different ways to communicate without using language. You can even communicate with Play-Doh. No. And I started thinking, what if George and Harold found themselves in a situation where they needed to communicate with people who didn't understand English? What would they do? So I decided to send George and Harold on a journey backwards in time about 200,000 years to the Pleistocene epoch when the first human family started to roam the Earth. Unfortunately, their evil nemesis, Tippy Tingle Trousers, shows up too. Soon, George and Harold find themselves trapped in a cave with some very frightened cave people. And they need to communicate with these folks, but they don't understand each other's languages. So what did George and Harold do? They draw. George and Harold make up an entire comic book on the walls of the cave. A comic book without words. Will this wordless comic inspire the cave people, or will it just traumatize them even more? Can George and Harold convince everyone to stop being afraid and start fighting for their freedom? Will this silent series of sequential sketches persuade the primitive people to work together to defeat Tippy Tinkle Trousers, rescue Captain Underpants, and save the planet? Be sure to check out Captain Underpants and the Revolting Revenge of the Radioactive Roboboxers to find out for yourselves. In the meantime, my buddy Megalon and I are going to go back into our studio and try to think up some more ideas. Happy reading, everybody.